Hello students, welcome to Study Zone. Let's learn together. So today, in this video, I will be discussing with you about the important questions and answers of Chapter One: Nutrition in Plants. Question number one: What is nutrition? Answer: Nutrition is the mode of taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body. Question number two: Explain the process of photosynthesis with the help of a diagram. CO2 plus H2O gives carbon dioxide plus oxygen. The leaves have a green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll helps leaves to capture the energy of the sunlight. This energy is used to synthesize or prepare food from carbon dioxide and water. Since the synthesis of food occurs in the presence of sunlight, this is called photosynthesis. Question number three. Explain two modes of nutrition with examples. Answer: Autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition. Autotrophic nutrition: the mode of nutrition in which organisms make food themselves from simple substances called autotrophic nutrition. Example: Green plants. Heterotrophic nutrition: the mode of nutrition in which animals and other organisms take in ready-made food. prepared by the plants are called heterotrophic nutrition examples animals and other organisms fourth question differentiate between green plants and saprophytes and so the mode of nutrition in which organisms make food themselves from simple substances is called autotrophic nutrition therefore green plants are autotrophs The mode of nutrition in which organisms take in nutrients in solution form from dead and decaying matter is called saprotrophic nutrition. Plants which use saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called saprophytes. Fifth question: Why do organisms need to take in food? Answer: The nutrients in food enable living organisms to build their bodies to grow. to repair damaged parts of their bodies and provide energy to carry out life process sixth question what do you mean by symbiotic relationship and so some organisms live together and share shelter and nutrients this is called symbiotic relationship example lichens fungi algae seventh question distinguish between parasites and saprophytes and so parasites organisms that take in ready made food from the organism from which it feeds example cascuta saprophytes the mode of nutrition in which organisms take in nutrients in solution form from dead and decaying matter is called saprotrophic nutrition plants which use saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called saprophytes Example: Fungi. Eight question. Explain symbiotic relationship with rhizobium bacteria and leguminous plants. Answer: Usually, crops require a lot of nitrogen to make proteins. After the harvest, the soil becomes deficient in nitrogen. Though nitrogen gas is available in plenty in the air. plants can use it in the manner they can use carbon dioxide they need nitrogen in a soluble form the bacterium called rhizobium can take atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into a soluble form so it lives in the roots of gram peas moong beans and other legumes and provides them with nitrogen Most of the pulses are obtained from leguminous plants. In return, the plants provide food and shelter to the bacteria. They thus have a symbiotic relationship. Ninth question: Draw and label the following. A. Stomata in a leaf. This is the diagram of stomata. Leaves are the food factories of plants. The synthesis of food in plants occurs in leaves. Therefore, all the raw materials must reach there. 
Water and minerals present in the soil are absorbed by the roots and transported to the leaves. Carbon dioxide from air is taken through the tiny pores present on the surface of the leaves. These pores are surrounded by guard cells. Such pores are called stomata. This is the diagram of cell. The bodies of living organisms are made of tiny units called cells. Cells can be seen only under microscope. Some organisms are made of only one cell. The cell is enclosed by a thin outer boundary called the cell membrane. Most cells have a distinct centrally located spherical structure called the nucleus. The nucleus is surrounded by a jelly-like substance called cytoplasm. Tenth question. What are lichens? Answer. A lichen is a composite organism that arises from algae or cyanobacteria living among filaments of multiple fungi in a symbiotic relationship. The combined lichen has properties different from those of its component organism. Lichens come in many colors, sizes and forms. The properties are sometimes plant-like, but lichens are not plants. Lichens may have tiny leafless branches, flat leaf-like structure, flakes that lie on the surface like peeling paint or other growth forms. Lichens grow on rocks, walls, gravestones, roofs, exposed soil surfaces and in the soil as part of biological soil crust. And question. Enrichment activity. Stick pictures of different mode of nutrition. These are the pictures of different mode of nutrition. Green plants are autotrophs. Mushrooms are saprophytes. Cascuta is an example of parasite. Picture plants are insectivorous plants. Twelfth question. Extended learning. Activity showing the importance of carbon dioxide in photosynthesis process with the help of a diagram. Answer. Experiment. Take a potted plant. Keep it in a dark room for 3 days. This will ensure that the leaves are free from starch. Now, take a white mouth glass bottle. Take 5 to 10 ml of potassium hydroxide solution and pour it in the bottle. This solution absorbs the carbon dioxide present in the bottle. Now, put half of the selected leaf in the bottle. The other part of the leaf is to be outside the cork. The bottle should be kept airtight. Keep this unit in the sunlight for 3 to 4 hours. After 3 to 4 hours, remove the leaf from the plant and take it out of the bottle. Test it with starch by iodine solution. You can see that the leaf kept in the bottle did not become bluish black. But the other side did. This is because the leaf inside the bottle did not receive carbon dioxide. This is the concept map of the chapter Nutrition in Plants. So we have learned about photosynthesis, cells, autotrophs, stomata and heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are divided into three types. They are insectivorous, saprophytes and parasites. And we have also learned about symbiosis. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and click the bell icon. And don't forget to like, comment and share on my video. Bye.